In this video, we're going to walk you through setting up a child theme. Um, if you plan on making significant code changes to the theme, um, perhaps adding your, your own custom CSS or maybe your own custom color scheme, um, or even adding, uh, expanding on the functionality of the Karma theme, um, then we highly recommend using a child theme. Um, and if you never worked with a child theme before, uh, basically the way it works is it's its own theme, but it relies on a parent theme. Um, so for instance, the Karma child theme, will, it will have all the same functionality as the regular Karma theme, um, but, it, but it's actually its own separate theme. Um, so basically, any so anytime you're going to implement changes, um, you would actually just be changing the child theme, and you won't be touching the Karma theme at all. And uh, the benefit to this is that um, if we release new versions of Karma in the future, um, you can you can easily upgrade to the latest version of Karma. And um, since all your changes are going to be saved on the child theme, then you won't lose any of your changes. Um, so again, if you're not going to be making significant code changes, then you really won't need to worry about a child theme. But if you are, then that's when we highly recommend to use a child theme. Um, so, in the download package from uh, ThemeForest, um, if you open up that folder, we've already included the child theme for you. So you'll see it says Karma Child Theme .zip. Um, So I'm going to go back to the dashboard and click on Appearance and Themes. And I already have it installed, but I'll just delete it and we can um, install it again. Um, so to install the theme, it's the same thing as installing any other type of theme. So we're just going to click on Install Themes and Upload. And then we're going to Browse. And you just want to locate the folder that you downloaded from ThemeForest. And then we're going to choose Karma Child Theme .zip and hit Open. And then uh, we're not upgrading, so we just hit No. And then we're just going to do Install Now. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and activate the theme. Um, <clears throat> okay, and now you'll see the Karma Child theme is now active. Um, now if we go back to the site and refresh, um, there's pretty much no changes, just besides for the navigation, because we have to specify the, the navigation again. Um, but you'll see the Child theme has all the same functionality as the regular Karma theme. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see you still have the Site Options panel, um, <clears throat> you still have the uh, short code manager. Um, you know, so it has everything that the Karma theme has, but it's its own separate theme. Um, so this will allow you to easily upgrade to the new version of Karma, and if you're making uh, significant code changes, you won't lose any of your changes. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you real briefly uh, some of the files within the child theme. So there's only a couple files. So I'm going to open up uh, my Finder. Um, now I'm running the local version of WordPress, so I'm just uh, my files are just located on my computer. But this would essentially just be your web server. Uh, so this is my themes folder, and you'll see I have Karma, Karma Child Theme, and then just the standard theme. So if I open up the Karma Child Theme, um, you'll see there's just only a few files. So the style.css, so I'm going to open up that. <clears throat> this is the file where um, if you're going to be adding any custom CSS, you'll just want to add it to, to this file. Um, so I'm just waiting for this to load. Okay, and uh, you'll see this, this information up here, this is what pulls in the main Karma theme, so you don't want to touch any of this. And same thing with this. Um, you just want to leave the top information uh, as is. And anything below this line, this is where you can enter all your, uh, all your custom CSS. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then also there's the functions.php file. So this is the same thing as a regular functions.php theme file. Um, so if you're planning on extending functionality of Karma, um, you could just easily insert your functions right within this file and they'll get added on top of the uh, regular Karma functions. Um, so that about does it. I hope this video was helpful and uh, please stay tuned.